Welcome back to Dragon Souls 3, episode 5. I'm gonna tend to a couple of unfinished business matters in the wall of Loth the high wall of Lothric, such as that that wyvern. We're going to How may I get rid of that wyvern, and how I'm gonna do that is I Oh ah, yeah, the tower key. Yeah, I kinda need to save up for that at some point. Um, but okay, the wyvern. How I'm gonna do that is I am gonna buy a crap ton of arrows. I got a lot of them. And there we go. Boom. That should that should give us enough arrows. Also, I'm gonna get the talisman. And heal aid, because it's time that we also start investing in attunement and miracles. After all, that's part of the Alicia build. <laughs> Alicia is quite the powerful spellcaster after all. So we really ought to learn how to use Speak thine heart's desire. more magic. Well. Then touch the darkness within me. We have enough dexterity to make do for now and we're using a weapon that doesn't scale with our strength or dexterity right now anyway. So it's time to start pumping this. Oh, we can't pump that a lot yet. Right, in that case, I'm going to bump Faith first, up to 10 at least. This allows us to use the, the heal. And then I'm gonna at least put at least one in attunement so we have a little bit more FP. Or should I give us a bump of the equip load just a tiny bit? Not yet. Well. Then this. We, we need to get to 15 attunement sooner rather than later. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Yes. I hope the flames guide me also. Now then, uh, let's see, how do we do this? We're gonna go deal with the dragon, wyvern, whatever. Two spell, also I think that in this case I wanted them bring the heal aid. And that means also in our equipment, we're going to remove that and instead take that, the talisman. Because then now, We can heal ourselves with that with that blessing. So now we can also use some for blue bar to heal up our red bar. Oh, burn and dead bone shard. I have one of those? I have one of those. Oh, I don't. I do not. Very well. Then let us go deal with the dragon. To deal with the dragon, we're going to have to deal with the knight. Because we need... We need a safe spot. We're going to have to deal with the knight. We're going to have to deal with the assassin. I'm also going to deal with the assassin downstairs, just in case. Because, yeah, we just need space. And we need the inside of this tower. That guy dealt with. Huh. What's this? Illusion ahead, really? No, doesn't appear to be an illusion. Yeah, it looks like it could have been an illusion. 
And it has all the hallmarks of an illusion. But it's not. Where's a nightly friend? Good sir, knight. Oh, good one, sir. Right, okay. Good sir, knight. the screen for a second there. Oh, yeah, 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 you're loud. You're loud. You're very loud. That's okay, though. So, we are going to be an absolute pussy. And fire at you from here. Right. Now, supposedly, this is a fine vantage point to shoot from. Oh yeah, that, that seems to indeed work just fine. I hope we have enough arrows to kill the dragon. I did not bring enough arrows. Apparently you need to hit roughly half. So we're gonna have to go back, buy more arrows, and do this properly. We got pretty close to hitting half, but we were still short. Purchase. I need a lot of arrows. Hey, that many arrows. Yeah, I looked it up and apparently you only need to, ha uh, to hit halfway, which is why I kept firing. I thought I might just be able to hit halfway, but I wasn't, which means I need to do all of that again. That's okay though, because doing all of that again is not that tricky. And by not that tricky, I mean I instantly get, you know, stabbed twice. Ow! 
Ow! Oh yeah, that was totally not that tricky. Constantly. There we go. As Ben Yahtzee Croshaw from Zero Punctuation likes to put it, this game is all about whiff punishing. You try to get them to whiff. And then you punish them whiffing. Alright, right. Now we can fight the dragon undisturbed. And by fight the dragon, I mean, you know, take advantage of the fact that he doesn't want to move. Well, time to cue the. Funky music? I'm, I'm gonna have to think of some kind of track to put here because this is embarrassing. took just 96 arrows but the dragon's gone and left us with a titanite chunk that seems pretty neat yeah large titanite shard excellent that's upgrade material for our weapons right now we can actually go up there and see what the dragon was guarding side of killing the dragon is that now there's a whole bunch of enemies up here. Like a lot of them. Such as this guy. straight there's an ember there after the dragon set fire to it so much claymore all right now we can actually go into this tower hopefully yes right, and the 
door on the other side. There's a ladder. Yeah. And we should be able to then open up this door and get a little shortcut. There we go. Now then. Hmm. It's a blood stain down here, but no obvious sign of danger. Hmm. Tough enemy ahead. Is it me or is that treasure chest moving? Yeah. Yeah. This is a serious case of don't don't trust the treasure chest. Yeah, let's see. We can see how this person died. Huh. Why doesn't it show us? That's odd. Oh well. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, that dealt less damage than I thought it would. I was hoping that would deal more damage. Oh shit, he spotted us. It's the Mimic! Gotta be careful with Mimics. They are... They will instantly kill you. Kind of regretting not bringing magic now. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Right, continue doing drop attacks on it. Just gonna keep cheesing it. Shit, he's still chasing me! Still chasing me, and he's fast! Uh, where's the ladder? Climb! 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 Boom! <laughs> shit! I don't think mimics can climb. down. Is a little mimicky friend still down there? Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm pretty spooked. Uh, let's see. Right. Drink a little from our flask. friend oh this is a bad spot maybe not oh shit run 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 got the mimic. Like I said, these guys, they can, some of their attacks will instantly kill you. Oh, okay. A deep battle axe. We might actually be able to use that. We can use that. It doesn't hit as hard as our fiery short sword, though. But yeah, I do believe that that deep back, a battle axe is indeed quite a powerful weapon early game. Oh, well, 
We got the we got the wyvern's treasure. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I already knew that, but hey, it's nice to know that people care. Liar ahead. Liar ahead, really? Liar? Is there a illusion? Is there an illusion here? Try joy. wonder okay I guess these guys say try joy maybe if you cheer here you attract the dragon's attention and get burned to a crisp quite often people leave messages to intentionally get you killed and then other people will leave messages pointing out that people are trying to intentionally get you killed <gasps> excuse me I do think I want to uh, bring the soul arrow for now. I like having a ranged option. Right. Uh, I think I will end this episode by heading to the next bonfire. So. Let's do as Emma told us. Appear over the cliff and hold up the banner. Yeah. <laughs> People who rolled to death. That's one way to travel! Now if you're wondering what those are, to be honest, I don't know either. Maybe I'll try looking that up, so I can tell you. Regardless, they're not... ...enemies. Not to us, at least. Alright. Well, well, well. Time for some free souls. Look at this. If we get close, the gate opens. Bad doggies. Where'd that other dog go? There we go. Sheesh. Bad dogs. Right. Yeah, we could go straight ahead. Or we could investigate over here a bit. And maybe meet a friend. Oh yeah. 
beast ahead. Nice of the person to leave the message, though if you paid attention you could also hear them chewing on a corpse. There's a... Hey, one of these guys is moving. <laughs> Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. Pilgrim ahead. Therefore, try friendship. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of Ash, as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim, as you can see, only... Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. We made a friend! Now he is involved in a very long winding uh, quest line in this game, which is kind of cool. But it's not one that Alicia would do, so we're not going to actually do that quest line. Because it involves us dying a whole bunch and accepting a dark sign. Uh, Egg, uh, or no, uh, a hollow sign, whatever. The the one that'll make us all creepy zombie-like. And Alicia is far too fabulous for that. Right? We are looking a little worse for wear. I'll mostly just some schmutt on our face. But yeah, Alicia, too fabulous to, to start going hollow. Because that questline wants us to go hollow. You, sir, you are quite rude. Setting your dogs on all the kind gentlemen out there that I would have also killed for, you know for the sake of it. Getting a bunch of free souls. Could have sworn there was also a... Ooh! Ah, yes! The giant with the bow! Yeah. That's gonna be fun! We have this bloodstain over here. <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Farmer, put down your pitchfork, don't be so threatening about it. Hmm. Cheery place, isn't it, the Undead Settlement? Hey, with a name like the Undead Settlement, you would think the place would be a bit more lively, wouldn't you? I've never actually tried to cut that body down. Ah, uh, why is jumping in this game so annoying? Let's see, is there no way? No, that's a... Uh, right. Regardless, okay, could, I could stop. I, I should stop at this bonfire. I've got too many other things to do today. Don't know if we'll do any fancy edits, this one. But yeah, we've made a little bit of progress. We're gonna start exploring the Undead Settlement in earnest next time. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.